What is up everybody? Welcome back to a different kind of video today. So today's video is going to be the top five things that YouTubers and YouTube itself really don't want you to know. So we're going to go with number one. First things first, YouTubers, they feel that YouTube is their business and they don't want to give you any trade secrets because they feel that if they give you trade secrets, it's going to hinder their channel and their views and their money, their income. It's not true. So there's a lot of people to think that way, but it's just like when you go to a job and they only show you how to do part of the job because if they showed you everything, then they'd be replaceable. It's one of them kind of things. So how to build a support system. I'm going to tell you, you heard it here first. Build a support system by watching other people's videos. Adam is a friend. Get close to them. Be real. Be really who you are. So if you like their channel, Tell them, comment, watch their videos, like their videos, add them on Twitter, add them on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, right? That is the way you make friends. And when you have friends, there may be a chance that they may be into your videos too, but there also may be a chance that they don't, and that's okay too. So that's how you build a support system. I know I make videos that I like and I hope that everybody else likes. Sometimes they view well, sometimes they don't view so well. And my buddy Gretchen from Chasing Life, she put it very, very well on Twitter the other day when she says, she said, I watch people's videos. If I don't like it, I just click off of it. I don't give thumbs downs, I just click off. I just didn't like it. But she, it doesn't stop her from supporting you she still checked your video out, even if she didn't like it, because some of my content is good. Some of my content isn't for everybody. So, but shout out to Gretchen from Chasing Life. Go check her out, so awesome. Number two, number two is how to rank your video using search engine, SEO, search engine optimization. It's technical it's tricky it's almost like how do you make a viral video there's not really a direct answer for that so my best answer is research SEO research as much as you can you'll get to see what's trending there's some things that are trending that are you know your speed and there's some things that are trending that aren't and any one of you guys that knows that has a video that got a lot of views and it surprised you, that's the making, that's the idea behind a viral video. You make a video just because you thought it was funny or just because you liked it, it may take off. There's no rhyme or reason why. So learn as much as you can about search engine optimization. Because the more you know, the better off you'll be. You know, the best advice I can give you is catchy title, catchy thumbnail, and the best content that you can give. It may work, it may not. Number three, how monetization works for your videos. I know a lot of YouTubers. I know big YouTubers, I know small YouTubers, I know in-between YouTubers question I get from a lot of smaller YouTubers is I can't wait until I get a thousand you know subscribers so I can start getting paid that's not necessarily true so to be a hundred percent honest with you if you join an MCN a multi-channel network I am part of Social Blade and BBTV they are awesome support system Okay, they're my MCN. I have been getting paid to do YouTube since I only had 
350 subscribers, I believe. So the thousand subscribers thing is for uh, Google AdSense. But if you have an MCN, they actually take over your AdSense and they will pay you whatever your whatever the amount is. So, I mean, I'm not going to say it's a whole lot of money. I mean, I've had checks that were like a dollar. You know, they they credit your PayPal. You get a, a dollar. You get a dollar twenty-two, a dollar eighty-nine, three dollars, five dollars, whatever. So I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say you know I make Lance Stewart money. It's not true. I don't. But it's all about views and watch time. You get the views and you get people's attention, which that's the hard part. You get their attention to watch the whole video. Views, watch time, boom. That's how you make money. So, check out getting an MCN. You, there's lots of them out there. Ask your YouTube friends which MCN are they with. Maybe they can hook you up. Because uh, my buddy Savage Wolf, shout out to Michael Savage Wolf. He asked me, and I told him who I'm with. I said I'm with Social Blade and BBTV. So is he now. So, that's how you do that. Number four, the proper way to collaborate with another YouTuber. The proper way is you be yourself and they be themselves and you see if you mesh well. Make sure that you put their information in your video and they should do the same for you. It doesn't happen all the time. As a lot of you know, I'm friends with Lance Stewart. I've been in his videos, but he didn't put any of my information in. His information was in mine. And I'm not talking shit, and I'm not saying nothing like that, because I appreciate absolutely every single thing that him and Lizzie have done for us, 100%. So, I'm not talking shit. I'm just saying that it doesn't happen all the time that way. So... The proper way to do it is to share each other's information in hopes that you share subscribers or you can get your subscribers to go check out somebody's channel. That's the right way to do it. But it doesn't always happen. Number five, how to grow your fan base. This is a very tough question. How to grow your fan base your your fans are going to be up and down to tell you the absolute truth. You're going to have 10 subscribers and maybe half of them may watch your video. And the other the other half are just there for support and they may never watch your videos. And then one day you'll hit 100 subscribers and you'll say, "Man, that's awesome. I finally got it." Then you'll lose 10. And you'll say, what am I doing wrong? Why am I why am I losing subscribers? Then one day you'll finally hit that thousand subscriber mark. You yes! Thousand subscribers, that's awesome. Then you go look and you're right back to 988. That's that's how it works. Your subscriber count is always gonna go up and down. So you gotta not worry about subscribers. Subscribers will come with time. And that's just being 100% honest with you. Right now we're at 780 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. But we're at 35,000 total video views, which is really good. But 35,000 views, there's, there's YouTubers that get that the first minute. So my seven and a half months of work, or eight months of work, is what somebody would get in a minute. So don't let that get to you. Don't let, don't let other people's success change your vision on what you think success is. Me, my success is the opportunity to talk to you guys, the opportunity to have you guys as part of my life. So it doesn't matter 
how much money you make on YouTube. It doesn't matter how many subscribers you have. It doesn't matter if you made a good video last week and this week your video bombed. The point of it is we're a community. We're here for each other. You get to meet new and exciting people. If you have the wrong vision on what YouTube is to you, you know, if you're like, okay, YouTube, I can't wait to drive a Ferrari. I can't wait to live in a big mansion. Well, guess what? It may not happen. I hope it does. I do. I hope it happens for you. I hope that your first YouTube video that you ever put on YouTube goes absolutely viral and you have more views than PewDiePie. But the odds of that happening are very slim. Very slim. So make sure that your mindset is correct, that you, you're in it for the right reasons. Don't do things because you want popularity or you want to be like somebody else. Be yourself, like I said. You want to be you. You don't want to be anybody else. You want to be you. Because people come to your channel to see you. Not to see who you can act like, because you can act like anybody. There's a lot of great actors out there that, you know, that can act like anybody. You know? So, make sure you're doing it for you. Make sure that you have the right the right mindset, the right goals. Set goals and achieve them. You know? And that's pretty much it. That's the five things that YouTubers don't want you to know. So... I want you to succeed. So go out there, make the best videos you can, make some friends, make some laughs, and make some memories. And enjoy doing YouTube, because that's what I do.